Today's video is brought to you by Squarespace. I was like running through an airport. This thing feels great. Feels great. I could totally run through an airport. We're late for our flight. Let's go. Today we are taking a look at the brand new Shimoda Urban Explorer. Uh, this thing is sweet. I have heard so many good things about Shimoda bags over the years, but they're very like, they've been like hiking backpacks, like kind of up into the mountains. You're gonna, you're gonna go explore the hillsides and you wanna take your camera gear with you. You've got a Shimoda backpack because they were the best. But this guy, the Urban Explorer, is uh, very much my kind of camera bag. I've taken it on two trips now, one to Seattle, which we talked about in the Pocket 3 video, and one on a trip to Arizona this last weekend. And I, I've kind of fallen in love with this backpack. Zoom you out a bit. Okay, let's check out this guy here. This is the Shimoda. Urban Explore 30 liter. This thing is coming in three sizes, a 20 liter, a 25 liter, and a 30 liter. I'm a, I'm a pack rat, so I got the 30 liter. And you'll see, even the, the 30 liter on me, um, I'm 5'10", about a buck 65. You can see like, it's a good size on, on me. On the trip to Arizona, my buddy Weston, he's 6'4", maybe 6'5", but he put it on and he said the same thing, like it just, it feels like it fits really, really well. So from, from someone that's 5'10 all the way up to 6'4 or 6'5, this 30 liter, like it fits really, again, I think I know how to explain why it fits so well, why why this bag just feels so good. But I think, I think we're gonna get to that when we get more to the inside of the bag. Let's first, uh, let's first talk about the outside of the Urban Explorer. The whole, the whole shell material is recycled Cordura, Cordura, Cordura fabric, which is water resistant. And most of the zips also are, are like that YKK water resistant zipper, but they're super smooth zippers. We'll get to the zippers in a minute here, but I wanna show you the, the top handle, the side handle here. They're both retractable handles. Like, like if you grab them and you pull them out, there's a little bit of like, maybe it's elastic, it's something, it's down in the pocket, I can't see it. But then when I let it go, it, it goes nice and flush back to the backpack. And it's the same, the same on the top. Like if I pull it up, like I've got like a, I've got like a lot to hold on to, but as soon as I let it go, it goes flush with the backpack, which is, it's a slick little feature. And this bag has one handle on top, one handle on the side. It doesn't, it doesn't have a second handle on this side. And then it has more of like a, like a loop handle on the bottom. Like the bottom one's not retractable. It's just kind of, kind of always there as a handle, which is nice though, cause you can grab the top and the bottom and uh, carry your bag around. Then flip around to the back here and you're gonna see their air mesh system. This is, this is part of what makes this backpack so comfortable. Again, I don't think, I don't think this is the main part, but this is this is definitely part of it. A ton of padding with this air mesh. You kind of get that that air mesh channel up the middle. You also see that we have the the luggage pass throughs right here. Same thing as like a little bit of elastic, so when you let it go, it slaps nice and flat. But when you need to get it over your luggage, you can kind of pull it out a little bit. Hey, real quick, I totally forgot to mention one of my favorite parts of this backpack, and that is a hidden pocket. Any backpack that has a hidden pocket makes me very happy. And this one is, is underneath this panel here. And if you reach in here, like kind of like where the lumbar pass-through would be, there is a, a little pull tab for a zipper in here. You zip that all the way to the bottom, and now up in there, it's saying like, get like just about my hand in there. Perfect for like a passport, some cash, maybe like an extra credit card you wanna toss in there. Anything you really wanna keep hidden because when you zip that up and you tuck away that, like that is, that is gone. That is like a solidly hidden pocket. People would have no clue that that is where your passport and some cash was stashed. I love hidden pockets and I totally forgot to mention that while, while filming this video. I don't know how. Okay, let's chat about the straps here. They're, um, they're very good. And then the straps are like shockingly good padded, but but the shape, I think it's the shape, the shape of the straps that make this bag so oddly comfortable is like they, they kind of come in, like they kind of do one of these types of things in, in your, your shoulders and you put it on and you just go like, ooh, that feels good. But then they have a sternum strap that is magnetic. So I just kind of get this in close over there 
and boom, it magnets in place. So if you, if you have something in your one hand, I can kind of take the tension off and I can twist and I can get my sternum strap off or I get it back over there. And with one hand, I can magnetically detach and reattach the sternum strap. I, I like magnets and that is clever as crap. And this is what I was, I was trying to explain to Weston, my buddy who I went on that Arizona trip with. I was like, as soon as I put this thing on, like, I feel oddly connected to this harness system. Like the weight distribution, everything just feels really, really, really good. And again, I pack the heck out of my bag. You'll see what's in it. I, I pack a lot. There's one more trick that they use on this bag. Again, I will tell you about it when we get to the inside. First though, check this out. Peak Design strap that is separate from the, the padding of your strap. Normally, if you have a Peak Design capture clip, you know, you just put it on the strap and you just clamp it down as hard as you can. What does that leave you? It leaves you on the inside with the Peak Design metal clip kind of digging into your chest. But look at this, there's a, uh, there's no Peak Design metal clip there because they put an extra strap, like it's an extra piece that the Peak Design capture clip is designed to go clip onto. So that piece is not pressing at all into your chest, even if you've, you've got your big old camera mounted on the outside there. That Peak Design strap is super clever and who else is super clever is a sponsor of today's video, Squarespace. If somehow you don't already know, Squarespace is your all-in-one website building platform where you can take your side project or your business to the next level online. I've been using Squarespace for the past 10 years for my photography business, mainly because like one, it was super easy to set up. I didn't know anything about web design. I was a photographer, but I was like, I know I need a good website. I know I need a good presence online. I need my clients to go online and be like, hey, this guy's impressive. He must be good at what he does. So 10 years ago, I went in there. I signed up for Squarespace, got on a totally free trial. I built out my entire website before going live and it was it was shockingly simple to do so. Also, Squarespace takes care of all that like backend stuff, so I don't have to do it. Like I pretty much do the design. I make my, my website look pretty and they do all the stuff that I still don't know about because I'm a photographer and they're, they're the web people. But even cooler for you, 10 years later, they now have their new fluid engine design system, which makes designing like even simpler now, even simpler and more customizable. Like whatever you can dream for your website, you can do through Squarespace. Shoot to the first thing in the description, go to squarespace.com, sign up for a free trial, go in there during that free trial, you can build out your entire website, totally free. Play around with the tools, kick the tires a little bit on Squarespace and see if it's right for you in your business. And when you are ready to go live, use code David Manning to save 10% off at checkout. It's a, uh, yeah, man, Squarespace. They're the ones to go with. Okay, back to the, the video. Let's get into like the, the zippers and the pockets of this bag. That is super clever. All the, all like the pieces on here, like that's all aluminum. The, the quality of this backpack feels, feels phenomenal. Like I love the quality. And part of that is again, these zippers. So these zippers are the splash guard zippers and everything like, like the, the radius of the curves are all super, super smooth. So that you never have like that binding issue where, where a zipper kind of turns too sharply and you kind of go, go zip, zip to, to get around the turn. This, uh, you just pull from the top all the way to the bottom, all the way back to the top. Very, very smooth. YKK splash guard zippers. And the splash guard zippers are on the side pockets and on this top pocket. Same thing, really good radius on the top. It just kind of flows and, and doesn't bind up at all. And then on the back zipper, it's not splash guard. It's just kind of like a normal, a normal YKK zipper. But same thing is the, the radius, like the curve that they did for the zipper makes it so that you can just kind of flow. Look at that, one zipper all the way around. Super smooth. We'll open that pocket in a minute. First though, let's jump to the, the side pockets. One of these pockets is the side axis, not this pocket. This pocket over here is designed for side axis. Now both pockets do have like water bottles slash tripod holder on them. So you have that, that strap up top. This strap can come off and it can tuck down into the pocket. There's actually another loop down here if you wanna really tuck it away. You can just kind of kind of stash it in the pocket if you know you're not going to use it but if you're really not going to use it you can tuck it into that loop and then it won't it won't like accidentally potentially pop out when you pull your water bottle out i have been using them so i i've been keeping them on there but the nice thing here is that even though this is the side access door if you don't use side access on your backpack like i don't this side access door that that you could have set up like that like you know fling around to the side reach into your camera bag i don't use that 
And I'm always bummed on camera bags that have side access because I don't use it. I end up losing a pocket, but on this bag, they gave us a pocket and tripod strap on this side, even though uh, that's the side access door also. But then over to this side and we have a, another full zip door like that. We have another water bottle pocket. We have the tripod strap on top tripod tripod strap but then on this side we have a, a big old pocket right here we have kind of a thing for like pens and cables and stuff and we have a pass through charge port so if you want to put like a battery bank in here run a cable inside your bag you can now charge the things that are in your bag while they're in your bag because you have a, a battery bank stashed out here and then for tripods again kind of you got this this stash pocket here you can kind of get two legs in there is what i usually do jam two legs in pull this thing around cinch it nice and tight right there got a little tie down there and boom tripod fits on the side of your bag really nicely again this is my my travel tripod go click up there and go watch the travel tripod video that so many of you have liked. The other pocket on the front of the bag is an entire pocket. It goes all the way down to the bottom of the bag, like all the way down to here. So this is kind of where I was putting like, like my paperwork, my my tickets for the flights, my, my receipts for like my parking pass thing. I just slide all that in there. And then if you can see, it's gonna be kind of tricky, there is organizational pockets inside here. So if I zip that open, I've got another pocket that goes this far that's inside of here. And I've been keeping my uh, my color checker in there. That's a good spot to stash that bit. And then there's there's no way I think I can show this to you, but if I reach all the way down here, there is a hidden pocket. Let's see if I can get it open. And if I pull the Velcro just right, got it. Air tag pocket hidden all the way down here and it's like hidden under a little Velcro flap. So if you don't know it's there, like you don't know what you're looking for, you would never know that there's an air tag hidden right here in uh, in this bag. Let me get it back in there. You really gotta like feel for it. Aha, air tag hidden in your camera bag. I, that's a that's a big plus for me. It is large enough to, to hide like one of the tile pros. If you're more of a tile person, it can fit either an air tag or a tile, even the, the larger tile pro. Ah, that's side pockets front pocket and now the top pocket. Now this top pocket, let me show you how, how I use this top pockets on both of my flights because you know, TSA is a thing and you gotta take everything out of your pockets. I didn't have my knife in my pocket, but I have my phone in my pocket. I've got my belt on. I, I did this little trick here where walking through the airport, I flipped it around to the front and I was able to just open it. The, look how big this pocket is. This pocket is massive on this bag. And just like walking through the airport like this, I was able to grab my phone out, grab my wallet out like that. I took my belt off and I rolled my belt up. Shadinch, put it on top in that pocket, slipped this thing back around to the back, scooted right through TSA pre-check, got to the other side, flipped it back around, got it back to here, kept walking to my gate while I was putting my belt back on. I should get a plastic belt that doesn't make the TSA thing go off. Get my phone back in my pocket, get my wallet back in my other pocket, and then same thing, I would flip it back around to my back. And uh, yeah, the top pocket is, is money, but it's actually quite a large pocket and it has a few tricks that it does. I'm gonna kind of show it to you like this here. This is where I'm keeping my, my little tech organizer pouch. I've got the DJI Mini 4 Pro up there with remote controller, got the DJI Pocket 3 up there. And can you see how like, it's like a large, large spacious pocket up top that also has, that also has a zipper across. And then I open that up, I got more stuff in here. There's my, my SD cards. I open up, there's a pocket here and then there's two pockets right here as well. What else do I got in there? ND filters for the drone. And I think, I think that's all I had in there. But then this whole top pocket has another trick and you can completely remove this top pocket. We'll talk more about that when we get inside the bag and I show you, but if you wanted to just make the, the entire bag one open spacious cavernous bag, you can actually remove this entire top pocket zips off and then you can take this whole thing off. Also, how nice is that blue inside? Like that teal? I like the teal, you can find things. Like you throw black things inside a bag that has black bottom and they just disappear. But inside teal, you, you can see all your stuff while it's in your bag. For real, walking around through the airport with it on the front like this was, was very helpful. And just uh, flip it around, 
to the back. Oh, and uh, magnetic. <laughs> okay, interior of the bag. Three ways to access the interior. Again, uh, top access, obviously, side access, and then this back access right here. Now, the thing that most bags get wrong is that when you have like rear access, you unzip them like this, and then they open long ways. And the problem with that is that if you have a long bag and then you open it long ways, you've made it twice as long even though it's it's only this skinny. And just like all Pelican cases or your normal suitcase, most bags should open this way. Like, like they should open like, like that way. And this one, uh, this one does. This one opens like this to the side. So if it's sitting on your lap, if you have it like on the airplane, like it's on your lap on the seat, it's very easy to flip it up and get to things because you don't have this like giant long lid that you're lifting. You're just lifting this part of the bag. And then in here, we have a nice teal interior. Same thing, you can see your black gear against that teal so nothing gets lost. Like any little bits that are down in there, super easy to see because it's against a teal background. This right here is our laptop pocket. It fits a 16 inch laptop. Lap pop, laptop, 16 inch MacBook Pro. It goes in there, no problem. I could definitely travel with it. See, it gets in there, it fully fits in, so like none even sticks out. But I will say that even with all of this gear and my laptop, again, this backpack feels so solid to walk around with. Like it doesn't feel, I don't know, like other camera bags that I load up, like the more I load them up, the more I'm like, oh my gosh, this thing is so uncomfortable to wear. This doesn't even have a lumbar support. I'm not using like a, a waist strap and it feels, it feels super solid on my back. And again, this, this is why, let's get back inside of here. It is because of Shimoda's outdoor experience. They gave this bag an internal frame. So there's actually like a metal frame that's going up here all the way up to the top here. It goes up inside of there, all the way to the top, and then all the way down the other side. So that gives this whole bag like just structure. Like the thing, it doesn't get on your back, load it up and like sag down. Everything stays where it's supposed to be because of that internal frame. So that feels really good. And then in the camera cube, which is removable, it also has an internal frame. So all of your gear, let me pop this thing out, and it just kind of sits inside the camera's internal frame. This internal frame sits in there, giving the whole thing a ton of rigidity. This camera cube has a metal frame going all the way around the top. Anything on the bottom? It's just the top. Just the top, all the way around the top, is a metal frame. So this whole thing, wherever you put your gear, your gear stays there because of it. And I don't know if this is like exactly, this, this is like a very packed out kit. I usually don't travel with all three of the Holy Trinity here, but this is, this is kind of a, a stand-in. That's the 16 to 35, this is a 35. It's the same length though. So this is just to show you guys, full size uh, mirrorless camera body with 16 to 35 fits in there, a 70 to 200 up here and the 24 to 70 right here. I've got the Rode Wireless Pro mic system right there. I've got the Insta360 X3, I've got the DJI Action 4. I've got a bunch of little bits in here like my, my bite mount for my action camera, my tripod for the Pocket 3. I've got the Pocket 3 battery piece and the new DJI Wireless Mic 2 system right there. And then the uh, another piece for the DJI right there. So everything fits in here. For me, like this is, this is more than enough space because again, I usually don't travel around with all three of my big zooms, but that, that fits so perfectly in there. And then that fits right back into here. But of course, if you were just going out traveling, you were like, I don't want to take any camera gear with me. You can have this entire thing open and like I said, there is a, a zipper to take this pocket and remove the pocket altogether so that this entire bag would become one kind of cavernous space that had rear access, side access, and top access all to kind of that main compartment. And right here at the bottom is a removable rain fly. It's kind of like a kind of like a pocket system right down here. Removable rain fly for the outside. Obviously again, weather resistant, not weatherproof. If it's like pouring down rain, throw on the rain fly. If it's just sprinkling, like walking around Seattle, I had this bag in the in the drizzle. And in the drizzle, I was not afraid at all. Walking all over Seattle, we got, we got fairly wet and uh, no problems. But again, if it was like really raining, I would have put this on. Good interior. Oh, this is also a top pocket in here. Let me get this 
back in here. Again, this kind of just slides in and the frame from the camera cube slides under the frame from the backpack and that's what locks it in place. You also have a pocket up top here, which is again, kind of part of that top pocket that I uh, I haven't thought of anything to put up there yet, but maybe like ND filters, you could put ND filters right here. That'd be a good spot to put ND filters. Let's throw some ND filters in there. Couple ND filters, throw them in there. That's a good spot for ND filters. Again though, the the internal frame, like that, that metal frame there and the metal frame in the camera queue, like taking that inspiration from the outdoors, like from Shimoda's, kind of history of having these very adventurous, like go up into the mountain packs, they all have internal frames. That's what makes hiking packs so kind of versatile and you can pack the crap out of them and they still feel good on your back is that internal system. And then with how much I pack in my camera bags, I am very grateful to have that internal system. And it's what makes it so that when you put on, put on this bag, like, even though I've got a ton of stuff in it right now, it doesn't feel like it. Like it felt really good walking through the airport. The sternum strap feels really good. It puts the straps in like a really nice position on your back. And I don't even really feel like I need like a lumbar support on this bag. Because of that internal frame, because of that large top pocket, just how good this bag feels, this will 100% be my new camera bag. Like in 20 years of searching for camera bags, I've had I've had so many camera bags throughout the years. I can say confidently that this is as close to my perfect camera bag as I've found. The only thing, if I had to complain about something, I would say that the elastic straps that kind of retain the extra little bits, they're a little loose, like they're not super tight. So I do kind of get some of, some of that going on where like there's like a little bulge and I just have to put it back in place. But that is being shockingly picky. Like when I look at the, the bag itself, like I love when camera bags use this front pocket as a big flat pocket, this top pocket being so large just makes me like thrilled. I love having the top pocket that I can just put a lot of stuff into. Oh, by the way, this 30 liter bag, it does fit underneath the seat in front of you on an airline. I flew Southwest and Alaska for the two different trips we took it on and both flights under the seat in front of me, no problem. Uh, the key clip, that's, this is, here's another complaint, is the key clip in here. They kind of have like their own style of doing a key clip where, where like this piece would live on your keys. And I don't, I don't, I'm not a big fan of that. Like I don't want a big piece like this on my keychain all the time. I would rather that if the key clip, which I do appreciate key clips, I'm very glad they have one, but I would rather the key clip just be a hook. Yeah, I guess that's my other complaint. My two complaints for this entire backpack are the keychain clip could just be like a hook. I would appreciate that. And uh, and the retaining straps for, for the extra loose bits right here, like that could be a little tighter. Other than that, it's a damn near perfect camera bag. The handles are good. The build quality is like phenomenal. Yeah, man. This is my first Shimoda bag. I've heard about these guys for years and years and years. And uh, the first time that I've actually got my hands on one and I'm kind of in love. I am fanboying Shimoda backpacks. This is the backpack that you will see me rocking until until someone else comes along and makes a better backpack than than this. Uh, the Shimoda Urban Explorer. Again, 30 liters. I am 5'10", 165. This thing fits pretty dang great. It also doesn't do that thing where it like digs into your butt. I like that. And a magnetic sternum strap. That is so trick. Magnets. <laughs> okay, uh, questions on this backpack? Throw them in the comments below. I will get an answer for you guys. I will see you soon. Today, we are taking a look at a brand new camera back frack. Back frack? <laughs> a back frack. Today, we're taking a look at a frack back frack. That's how the video ends now. My stupid mouth not doing what I want. <laughs> Shut it up.